Hey, what's up everybody? This is Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com, coming to you today to continue our discussion on glide shot put. Now, previous couple videos, we talked about how to select the proper size shot put. We talked about how to place the shot in your hand and up against your neck. Something that we didn't talk about in the glide videos that we did, you know, three, four years ago, we touched on it from time to time, but we never did an actual video on how to properly release that shot put in ways to teach you how to release it and how to condition your wrist and your fingers to get strong enough so that you're getting a proper release. So, taking where we left off last time, we know that when we hold the shot in the hand, we have it in the basket of the hand. We don't have it back here in the palm. We have it sort of on the fingers, so the fingers are all underneath it. Thumb is on the side, it's in the basket of your hand. The proper release for a shot, the wrist and fingers will follow the same path, same linear path as the elbow. So when we had the shot up against our neck, the elbow was up. Okay, if you didn't see that, check at the last video, we talked about elbow up all the fingers behind the ball. So when you go to release the shot and you're getting ready to throw that shot, to put that shot, you want to keep the elbow high as you push up in the air and at the end you flick your fingers out. If you're right-handed, they flick out to the right. We want to keep all the power going in a straight line, everything going linear. So the don't, you don't want to push the elbow and drop the hand down, twisting that wrist. You don't want to drop the elbow and shoot it like you're doing a jump shot. That's not going to work either. We want elbow up, pushing through, flicking with the wrist. So the thumb will be down, the wrist will flick to the side. Some people just shove it and never flick the wrist. Just shove the shot, that's not how we do it. We have to flick the wrist. Well, how do we teach that? What are some good ways to condition our hand, to condition our bodies, making sure we're going through that proper pattern, making sure that we're doing everything correctly? Take that shot, fingers behind the shot, like we talked about the other day, and then turn the shot upside down so that your throwing hand is on top of it. So we want to see, I'll kind of come up here real close, we want to see that your throwing hand is on top of the shot. Okay? So we turn it over, it's in the basket, we turn it over again, fingers are on top. Okay? Notice what happens to the elbow. The elbow followed by the fingers. Push, flick. Push, flick. So what you want to do is simply throw this thing into the ground as hard as possible, pushing and flicking. So we're just going to put the fingers back on top. We're going to remove the hand at the bottom and we're going to push and flick into the ground. Elbow, wrist, push and flick. Up, push and flick. And you can repeat, throw after throw after throw after throw after throw. After throw. You can just continue to push and flick in the ground. Now, typical thing that we'll see with the younger uh, throwers is they'll put their finger on top and they'll try to create like a backspin when they throw it down to the ground. So they'll do this kind of backspin thing where their hand comes out and flicks. We want to see straight down. Straight down in the ground, bang. Pushing flicking, getting that follow through, getting that flick off the fingers. From there, we're going to move on to other standing release drills with the same thing in mind. What I like to do, take my power leg as a right-handed thrower, that's my right leg. We're going to put the shot up against the neck and simply from here, we're not going to pull, we're not going to twist, we're not going to throw the head down. All we're going to do proper position and we're just going to push and flick. Push and flick. You can do this back and forth to a partner. You can do this with a group of athletes 
Or if you have an indoor shot in a cement wall, you do it up against a cement wall or a brick wall, it'll bounce right back to you. Grab it, do it again. That is how you teach the release. Now from there, what we're going to talk about tomorrow are some advanced releasing movements and techniques where you're pulling in the block, following there with the shot in the wrist. We'll talk about turning sideways, turning the feet, getting ready for those proper release mechanics. But to teach the release properly, how it comes off of your hand, to condition your fingers, your wrists, your forearms to take that abuse, this is a great way to do it. Pushes in the ground and just standing releases back and forth to a partner. So guys, check it out. EliteThrowsCoaching.com is getting a lot of hits. It's getting a lot of viewership. A lot of people are sending in questions and they are wondering about our online team. Make sure, go to EliteThrowsCoaching.com. The online team training is going to be starting in about two weeks. So make sure, go there, read about it, sign up. It is super, super, super cheap. We've worked it out so it's about 50 cents per workout. Believe it or not, 50 cents per workout. Super cheap, monthly, it's like Planet Fitness prices. It is like going on a business, fire sale, Planet Fitness prices. As always, we're trying to help as many people as possible. So instead of charging 70, 80 bucks a month, we're only charging about 12 bucks a month. All right, check it out, EliteThrowsCoaching.com. Leave all your questions and comments right on the contact page, and I'll answer them in a future video or by an email. Talk to you guys soon.